Okay, I got a little test speed here. I'm gonna try um, try to compare all the speed tests between the iPhone 3G. I got I was able to manage up deploying five of these uh, LG Vortex uh, at work. So I'm using one of the, for a test unit to check the speed as well. This is also running on 3G from Verizon, and I've got the Motorola Atrix. It's a nice little device, but I'll do another review on that, which is pretty, what I really like is this fingerprint reader. You're able to turn it on and just swipe your finger and then it unlocks. So let's, uh, let's start off, I'll go ahead and start loading these up. Uh, we'll see which uh, speed test, uh, see how they all compare. And they're all uh, on the Atrix showing that it's H+. Plus. Which, I mean, a lot have said, uh, I don't know if it can show up there, yeah. Many have said that there's trouble with the H+, Plus. that's not a true, which I've noticed that uh, the uploads are really slow on this one, but I've, um, as you can see, I did an up, uh, a test earlier, uh, just a little minutes ago, and my upload speed is at 103, and download is 134, and usually everybody's been saying that you can get at 34, which I was. But now it's a little bit higher. So let's see what uh, I try to do a little test on all of them and see what I'll do these and test again. And we'll see what kind of speeds we all get. Uh, oh, sorry, I got a. Let me disable it. This is I got on the Wi Fi for this one. Let me turn this off. And just notice that I let those run. Uh, we'll see what compare. Uh, okay, let me uh, settings. Uh, let me go to megabytes. That way we can compare the same. Okay, let me try the iPhone. As you can see, uh, bring them all together here. The Verizon finished at with 3G, 0.22 and 0.05. On the Atrix Motorola with the H Plus, 0.87 and 0.13. We'll do like a few tests, and the uh, iPhone is still trying to, is still finishing up. On the iPhone running 3G. Uh, it's got three bars. Atrix got one bar, and so does the Verizon has like one or two bars. Just going. So this one, uh, 0.65 and point, point 0.24. So uh, the Atrix is the fastest of all of them, the H Plus, but the upload's really slow. Let me do another retest. See what happens. I know we can give it a lot of variables uh, because also the the Atrix has got the dual core, so maybe that could affect the download speed and performance. And the LG, I believe it's a 600 megahertz, and uh, the iPhone is running the A4 chipset. Um, so we'll see what this is gonna. And I've always known that Verizon, of course, has always been the slowest one until they actually start getting uh, LTE rolling out. And again, iPhone is done with three bars. You can see 0.56. And again, Verizon running 3G with one bar to two bars. Really slow. And you know, once again, the Atrix with the fastest uh, speed 101, but the upload speed really slow. Let me try one more, one more time, and see what happens. Give them all a try. Okay, there they go. Uh, 
looks like Verizon again finished, but it's got the worst uh, of all of them. Atrix uh, 0.60 again, the highest of all. Oh no, sorry, this time uh, the iPhone got 0.69, and of course it's got a nice higher upload speed. And this is Atrix, uh, there is a something that's keeping it from uploading anything faster than probably 0.30. Only one time I was able to get, uh, as you can see, uh, 1.03 upload. I don't know if it's something that they're just working on, and you know, as you can see, the the download speeds are been pretty pretty high. You know, average probably an average is probably an average of two point something, two point one. So, just a really quick rundown on the speed test.